This presentation will help you fill out the information for your foldable on page 6. Please turn to page 6 of your ISN. This is what page 6 of your ISN should look like. Except if you notice, I wrote the words rotation and revolution at the top of your foldable. Please do so now. The first few slides that we're going to look at have to deal with rotation. The information about what rotation is is going to go on the notebook paper. Examples of rotation are going to go on the flap. I'll be looking for five examples of rotation. The first question we're going to ask is, what is rotation? When I think about rotation, I think about rotating tires. But what does that actually mean? Rotation is the spinning motion of an object on its axis. The word axis is very important because if there's no axis, the object is not spinning. An axis is an imaginary line in which an object spins. This is an example of rotation. Now I know it's a funny picture with the earth and the earth dancing, but it's a great picture to show where that imaginary line would be. So if we take a closer look and we draw our axis through our earth, we're going to see that our axis would be right through the center. You can kind of see that there's a point where the dancing earth meets the ground right over here. And if there was a line or a pole going through that earth, this is the point here and up here where we kind of see that, that pole or line sticking out. Our dancing earth is actually rotating in a small, small circle. And she has the ability to do that because of the imaginary line or the axis that goes through the, the dancing earth. Now this picture shows a movement that our, our planet actually goes through. So our planet earth has an axis, so it means it rotates. Now I need four other, four other examples from you guys about things that rotate. Mm, technically speaking, this picture kind of gives you two. Close your rotation part of your foldable and then open up the revolution part of your foldable. Same thing as before. Your information is going to go here. And your examples, all five of them, are going to go here on the flap. The next question we're going to look at is what is revolution? Now, when you think of the word revolution, you can think of many things. For example, the Revolutionary War. But for us, we're not going to look at revolution in that manner. We're going to look at it in this way. It's the movement of, the ob of an object around another object. So if you really think about it, when I walk around the classroom, I'm revolving around you. Now there may be times where I refer to the word revolution as orbit. They basically mean the same thing. Now the orbit of something is the path of an object as it revolves around another object, especially when we talk about things in space. Now we're going to look at an example of revolution in the real world. Here's an example of a racetrack. Look right here, here's a car. The car is going to go around the track. So if you think about it, this little car right here is revolving around the racetrack. That's your first example, a racetrack. You need four more examples. Please close your foldable. 
if you notice, it put new things on the fronts of the foldable. So let's start off with the rotation tab. I wrote down small movement and I drew a picture. When I talk about small movement, I'm talking about that object that is spinning. When it spins, it's not going anywhere. It's spinning on that fixed point. So that's why it's a small movement. Now the picture I drew shows the axis and it also shows the arrow which shows that small movement along that particular axis. Now if we take a look at revolution, I put down big movement and I also drew a picture. If you think about revolution, when something's revolving, it has to revolve around something. So it's a big movement around something. Now my picture shows an object, which is X, the path in which something else went around it, which will make this little circle thing, and the arrows showing how the object went around the other object. Please make sure you have that information on your front of your foldable. And now you're done. And you can answer the two questions on page five.